From Continental Airlines Arena in East Rutherford, the Yes Network presents NBA Basketball. Today it's a special matinee at the Meadowlands as the Nets host the Indiana Pacers. And Al Harrington getting all ready in the locker room. Al having a couple of bad games, two games where he scored in single digits, and he'll try to break out of that funk as he takes on Mikey Moore and the rest of the New Jersey Nets. You know, it's just tough. Um, it's being in foul trouble, you know, sitting there watching. Um, we still had a, a lead going into the half, so I guess that really doesn't matter. It's just the second half, uh, particularly the fourth quarter, giving up 37 points. Um, you know, that's a lot if you want to win the game. Did you think that you guys had outgrown those fourth quarter meltdowns lately? Well, you know, this is going to happen. We understand that, but it's not, not letting it happen on a consistent basis. And, uh, you know, the most important thing now is just being able to bounce back, let it go, and on to the next game. Once heard, it is impossible to forget. I still have a dream. Dr. Martin Luther King stirred a revolution with a rousing speech over 40 years ago. His words have inspired generations. In a league that is predominantly African-American, the dream lives on, embodied by many of today's players. Would the National Basketball Association be what it is without the vision of Martin Luther King? Today is a time to remember, reflect, and celebrate the spirit of the man. The Nets and Pacers will honor his memory by taking the floor. It's a holiday matinee on Yes. A Monday matinee on Martin Luther King Day. That is a Vince Carter weeble, not a bobblehead. As the Nets take on the Pacers, uh, that looks like a future net broadcaster getting ready for the action. Here this afternoon, the Nets and the Pacers, second meeting of the season. We've got it for you here. Action from Continental Airlines. Robinson had 14 off the bench. Two down jump shot in that time, putting the ball on the floor. On a skip pass, kid to Carter, drains it, a triple. And deflection from Collins. Jefferson run out, three on two developing. Carter gives it up, and Jefferson lays it in. Beautifully executed. In spring to their step in this. And then set of the basketball on the break. Return to favor. Oh. Carter and the Nets look to keep Jermaine O'Neal and Indiana off pace as they come to town for an MLK Day matinee. Yeah, that kid, there were a lot of rumors about that kid. Mikey Moore, another slam, his third dunk. It is the Mikey Moore show in the first, the 50 states. And I can remember my parents saying, don't eat Pop Rocks and drink Pepsi. Exactly. Carter from long range, Vince Carter. And a net layup, if not for the early foul, off the rebound action from Foster. Carter feeling it. That's just a disadvantage to Steven Jackson at some point help. Jackson, you're too small. Delivers the basketball, Vince Carter. Percent. Jefferson, great find. Carter on the cut. And the delivery from RJ. If you're Lawrence Frank, you're saying, hey, that's the way we run for the Nets. And Sharunas, yes, a Kavichis in for Indiana. Carter on a fadeaway. That stroke is alive and well here today. From Robinson, puts it up. Carter keeps it alive. And another slam. Mikey Moore with his fourth throwdown collapsing defensively nobody blocking out Vince Carter keeps the ball alive and then Mikey Moore second shot in transition Carter straight down the middle Robinson drains it good job by Cliff Robinson. just under 16 points per game before the game I thank him for cutting off that mohawk Carter to the rim on behalf of Williams on the toss away sticks with it and now the Nets have numbers Three on one, look out, Vince Carter soaring through the air. And a chance for three. Vince Carter defying gravity and in the process can add to the Nets lead. How about Marcus Williams off the turnover, had the opportunity to throw the law pass to Josh Boone, but if it's a Volkswagen and a Mercedes, Go with the Mercedes. Vince Carter finishes at the rim off the delivery from Williams. How about that? Al Harrington. 48-33, Nets on top of the Pacers. Vince Carter, slow motion 
delivery. You I did that dunk, it'd be incredible. Vince Carter has set some incredible standards for himself. Call out, called out his basketball team. Vince Carter at the free throw line. Rick is doing right away, realizing that help is not coming. Shake and bake to the goal, put too much on it. Robinson can't finish it, and Carter misses the slam at the buzzer. Not a sequence that is going to make the highlight reel for the Nets. Carter looked like he had an open lay-in and got a little too cute right at the end. Don't you come over here and mock us. I will tell the basketball, don't go in that one time, Vince. Stay away from me, but Vince Carter says, are you kidding me? I knew I shouldn't have. Jason Kidd finds Vince Carter behind the arc for a three ball of his own. Nets down just by one. Still in the first quarter, right back. And he will dish to Vince Carter for the big jam. VC, get off me. Nets cruising by 15. Still in the second. Kick out, Carter gives it up. Kidd, hot shooting. It continues. A three pointer for Kidd. And now early on Jason Kidd's three pointer, someone yelling behind him. This happens quite a bit. He knocks down the shot and then taking a look back like you really think that affects him? everything. Jason Collins does a great job of keeping the body in front of him. And then they do a great job of mixing it up. Giving him and a chance for three. Vince Carter. Foster picks up number four. Vince Carter, this is too easy. No help all the way to the rim. If you're the Nets and Lawrence Frank, you're excited about it because this is when he's at his best, and this is when opportunities open up on the perimeter for other guys. But Vince Carter certainly has the ability to make plays attacking the paint. 21 for Carter. He's 3 of 3 from the free throw line. Yeah, this game is a pretty clear indication of how strange things are in the Eastern Conference right now. Go away and continue to play the way that you set from the beginning of the game. Carter backs up and drills it. A three. And what I don't understand, time and time again, teams three and wonder why, why are teams double teaming me? It's just a setup. I'm just waiting for a guy to be open. So the action on the weak side comes the down. Jefferson. Drive and kick. That's a long three. Got it. A strike for Carter. Once again, dribble penetration, the skip pass, and then Richard Jefferson making the play for Vince Carter, staring it down, admiring. That's how you get it done, and Vince Carter enjoying himself. Earl Anthony style. Friday, 10.30 only on Yes. How about the last bucket by Vince Carter? Do you mind I have a camera? Could you take the jump shot and then just stand on one leg? Thank you, Mr. Carter. Position when they've had easy basket opportunities, they finished. Now, 1-800-7, NJ Nets. Martin Luther King Day. Go down and just pick this team apart by making high percentage plays on the offensive end. Carter, that's a three. He buries it. Vince Carter has put up 31 points for the Nets. About after the last bucket by Vince Carter. Nana, nana, nana. A grown man sticking his tongue out at the bench. Back to 95, the Nets with, and for the second time this season, the Nets knock off the Indiana Pacers. Carter with 31. 19 apiece for Kidd and Mikey Moore, the only three Nets in double figures. Marcus Williams came off the bench to score nine, as did Eddie Howe. Had a couple of choices to pick from. This one stood out. Williams to Carter. High flyer, Vince Carter. Our Dunkin' Donuts fast. 105.95, Nets a winner today over the Pacers. Coming up next, the Nissan postgame. Nets basketball on Yes, produced by Frank DeGrace, directed by John Wilson. The pregame and halftime produced by Jared Poshnack. The supervising producer is Woody Fryman. And the executive producer is John Filippelli. Join us again on Wednesday. The Nets will visit the Charlotte Bobcats. Game time is 7 o'clock. Coverage begins at 6.30. For more on the Yes Network, why don't you log on to YesNetwork.com. So for Mark Jackson and our entire 
Yes Network crew. This is Ian Eagle. We'll have some final thoughts coming up in just a moment. Chris Sheard and Michelle Beadle with a post game next. Jason Kidd finds VC behind the arc for a three of his own. Count that. Nets down by one. Still in the first. Kill in the third. Jefferson feeds VC for another three. All nets, their biggest lead. They're up 27 there. Fourth quarter. This is not an individual game. There's no I in team. But Vince Carter, it seems as he goes, so do the Nets. 31 points tonight. It's got to be a pretty good idea of what goes on with the Nets when he has a great game. Well, yeah, and he had six assists. So in my mind, watching the game, it wasn't just Vince Carter going out and scoring, although the highlights would indicate that Carter did a lot of that, and he did to the tune of 31 points. But it was a good all-around effort from Carter I didn't feel like he forced himself into the flow of the game. He just kind of went with the rhythm and cadence of the game. Really did a great job of setting the tone on the offensive end, looking to make plays. The first shot was a tough shot, contested an air ball, and then a, a two times down in the fourth quarter, a couple of careless plays. Other than that, he had a stellar performance this afternoon, made the right plays time and time yep. again, whether it be for himself or getting the ball to open shooters. It's today, he led all scorers, and here is Vince. Uh, kind of just going with the flow of the game. Um, hit a few shots, so I was feeling comfortable. Uh, Jay was hitting shots. We had a, uh, a lot of good things going from a lot of people. So uh, I, was, I was kind of getting my shots in the floor of the game. So, uh, I mean, I, I knew I had a, a hand going, but it wasn't, <clears throat> excuse me, it wasn't anything where I had to, uh, I felt like I just needed to take a lot of shots. I think I ended up taking 26 shots, though. <laughs> Tonight. Exactly. Exactly. We were getting contribution from from everywhere, so um, it was more so just get get your shots in, within the floor of the game, and you know you just take advantage of some th some hot hands around um, on the floor. And Mikey definitely had it going tonight, and uh, we were just like I said, contribution from from a lot of guys. You guys came out with a different mindset in the third, even with a big lead. <laughs> Looks like the starters really wanted a knockout. Uh, we just wanted to, to keep the lead and continue the the. the to play and, and not get lackadaisical, lackadaisical. You know, we've had nice leads and have given it away. So I think uh, the mentality and the mindset was to come out early and just ex and put it away. You know, and uh, you know, I think we did a great job of it. And uh, I think our bench kind of just got a little co too comfortable. You find that unusual in the NBA? Usually, when the game of runs, that they never really made a run in the game. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's just it's good for us. I mean, we were just. We kept pushing, kept pushing, and kept executing on both ends, and and that was a good thing for us, uh, for our confidence, is especially just holding a lead. Uh, something we, like I said, we haven't done is is that we we put get a big lead, and we're kind of let teams come right back, and you know that's not the team we want to be. Mikey was saying that um, you guys find him when he's open, and you, you trust him with, with the ball. Is that something that took a little while to develop? No, after not he at all. Started starting? No, we told him from day one, you know. Yeah, I, I, just to, I think it took him, it was an adjustment period for him to get used to how we play and that we're such willing passers. Um, you know, for myself, RJ, and of course, Jay Kidd, uh, if you're open, you're going to get the ball. You know, I don't, I don't care, you know, if people know who you are or not. And it, with his ability, you know, with his ability his, uh, to f finish around the rim, um, his energy, his athleticism, you know, we, have to, we want to utilize what he brings to the table. Vince, the I Have a Dream, the Dr. King legacy. Talk a little bit about that uh, in the back of your mind while you were playing basketball today. Well, I mean, this is a special day. We wanted to go out there and have fun, um, knowing what, what today means to a, uh, you know, a lot of people around the world. It doesn't really matter your race. It's just a, it's a special day, and, and it's a chance for each, each individual um, to reflect on you know, the importance of what um, Dr. King tried to do for, um, for us all. Thank you. Thank you. 6.30 p.m. with tip-off coming at 7 and complete coverage following the final whistle. So for Ian Eagle, Mark Jackson, Michelle Beadle, and the rest of our Yes Network team, I'm Chris Shear saying thanks for joining us on Martin Luther King Day. We'll see you again on Wednesday. Take care, everybody.